Welcome back guys into this new video of the Techpress. If you want to get started with the e-commerce totally for uh, beginners, you are in the right place. If you're looking to create a professional e-commerce website, the e-commerce is one of the greatest tools to get started here. So in here, what I need to do, of course, is to guide you through the step by step. And first of all, talking about the e-commerce. Now, the e-commerce is a fully hosted e-commerce platform. Meaning, guys, that you don't have to worry about the web hosting, the security, or the maintenance because everything should be, of course, up. they're going to be handling everything by ourselves. So, what are the few thoughts, the few reasons why it's going to be really popular to use the e-commerce? For first of all, the scalability because you are starting small and to plan to grow, the e-commerce offers solutions for all the business sites. There's a really ease of use. There's the building features, for example, the CEO optimization on the multi channels, and we can sell into Amazon, Facebook, eBay. And if you need to run a professional online store, well, the big commerce is the right price, the right place for you. So, uh, next thing here to signing up and to setting up your big commerce store, you can see that we have the standard plan, the plus, the pro, and the enterprise. If you get started here with a monthly price, for example, you might see that you have a $39 per month and you can start with a free trial if you wanted to. Now, these elements can be helping you to get started. Usually, of course, it's going to be asking you to enter just a small fee, but I'm going to leave you a link to down below in the description, guys, so we can get started here inside the e-commerce and you don't need to pay absolutely extra for that. So I'm going to create my online store and having a 50 day free trial for the link down below in the description. I'm going to add all of this information and go for create my store. Once you have added your information to create your actual account, you'll be asked a few questions about your business, like the size and the industry, and we can fill this in to tailor your experience. And then it's going to be asking you to enter a store name and a URL. You now have access directly into your trial plan store. So while you are into the trial plan, you can choose a theme for your store, add products and list products into Google. So you now have here into this start accepting orders and to do that you have here, for example, adding products, get set to ship, configure payments and set up some taxes. Everything that you can do here, for example, channel, uh, channel manager, complete your store profile, customize your online store and to review and test your store once you think you're ready to get started. Let's go for customizing our theme. If I go for customize our theme, we have the page builder. The page builder can be helping you to understand how it actually looks your store and if there are a few elements that you would like to change when you get started here. We can add layouts, text, images, carousels, product sizes and much more. So if you just have the drag and drop widget here, it's going to be showing you automatically here these elements and you can just select elements that you do or you don't want to see and we can delete them into this kind of columns. So I'm going to scroll a little bit down and choose elements that I think that I would kind of uh, water out, for example, for people who want to get stuck here. So here we go. The product set and much more stuff. So take your time to fill as much information as you can to finish your actual website. I'm going to hit into save and I'm going to go back into my home page. And so and home page once again. Now we can customize your store design as I just told you. But something else you can do is to add products to your store. And for that, let's go and focus back here into my storefront. Let's go into the home dashboard. And here into the home dashboard, you can scroll a little bit down and look out for add products. Adding products, for example, here's going to be just as easy as to add the product name, the SKU, the product type, default price, brand, weight, and the description of your product, including the images, the pricing, the inventory variations, and more product options. Once you fill that, go for save. Other thing that you can do here is to setting out the payment method. Once again, go home back into the e-commerce section. Look out for the option that says configure payments and hit into set up payments to start earning money here into e-commerce. You can choose from one third party, for example, Stripe or PayPal. If I choose, for example, to set up with Stripe, go choose the option that says set up, show the payment method which you'd like to use to get started and connect your account here from big commerce into the third party that you chose. In my case, I choose the Stripe, so it's going to be much more faster to do it. And lastly, we can set up some shipping options. To get started with shipping options, you can see that we have the setup shipping section. And here's going to be asking me now to sign in. 
and check out my store with the actual commerce integration that is let's say depending on the country you're really living in my case we are into latin america so i'm able to get started with the mbia.com something that can be working for me where i can add shipping zones setting shipping method and even much more stuff i'm going to close this because we're not going to be doing this at the moment and once you're filling you're accepting orders on adding products the shipping section the payments lastly what you can do is to set up some taxes and after you check out your yeah, tax duties, you can just look out for the channel manager, which you can just, let's say, sell into Amazon, into eBay, into Facebook and Instagram and do so much more stuff. So, running an e-commerce store doesn't stop at launch. With the e-commerce, you can easily manage your store with the built tools. So you have the order management here into the little pod. There are some marketing tools and there are the analytics where you can use to monitor the store performance including some sales, the customer behavior and the traffic sources. If you want to make um, a strong research of a specific section here into e-commerce, you can let us know into the comments below. But so far, this is like a basic way of how we can get started with e-commerce. That's how we can create a professional e-commerce website with this new new section into e-commerce. We have covered everything from setting up your store and posting your launching. It is up to you to regularly check your updates, your product, the storefront, marketing, analytics, and much more. So if you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated with the latest tutorials here. Thank you for watching, guys, and hopefully you can all see you next time.